Hi and welcome back to my channel. Let's create a tag helper. I am going to have a new project of ASP.NET Core and let's name it my tag helper demo. And let's go next. Use .NET Preview and let's enable the Razor Runtime Compilation. I am sure you know what is a tag helper. And if you don't, please just Google it. Now let's create one. I want to have an other tag helper to replace this piece of HTML and CSS. And in my application for now, I'm just using HTML and CSS. And step by step, I'm going to replace this piece of code with a tag helper. Let's add the tag helper class, or it can be any class, but it's easier to use a razor tag helper class like this and just replace the razor part with alert that will help a lot with your coding so we are having an alert tag helper and we just don't need this customization and this piece of line is not required for now in order to create a tag helper, you need a class and that class should be driven from tag helper class. And now let's piece it together. We have a context and output. First, let's use the output and use the tag name. So our tag helper is something that helps a tag. So first we need to choose what tag we are going to help. And for now, this is a div tag. And then let's choose how that tag helper should work. And tag mode is what we want. So the tag mode is uh, self-closing or start tag and end tag or start tag only. We are going to need a start tag and end tag because that is how div works. There is an start tag and a div and uh, ending tag. So let's save everything. And then we need to add attributes. We have two attributes here class and row. And let's add them. Go for output, add attributes, add. And the first one is class. And the value for that is alert, alert primary. We also need another attribute. Let's add and row. And for this one, I'm going to use alert. Something like this. Now let's specify the content and use set content to a simple tag helper. Now let's use this tag helper. Let's go to index page and add the tag called alert. And it is not working right now, even though we have imports and in imports, we are adding all tag helpers in this area. We also need to add tag helpers for our project. And the, the name of my project is my tag helper demo. So that is what I need in here. And let's save everything and go back here. And you can see the alert tag helper color changed. Now Visual Studio recognizes that this is a tag helper. If I run the project again, this time I get a tag helper. And let's inspect this. This is what we created as a tag helper and it is working perfectly fine and this is what we had before. Right now we have a tag helper that works but everything is hard coded inside this process so if I want to change anything I have to come here and change the source code. We want to have some options in alert to pick the type of alert that we want also the content of the message. If you go back to Bootstrap, you can see there are different classes, different styles for different alerts. And we need to have 
some way to specify that in our tag helper. Let's start with alert message. To do so, let's add the property and it is a string and it is a message. And this message should be used in here. So this is a public property and I, I save and go to go back to my index and I hit space. You can see that there is a message attribute here that I can set and let's do it explain or .net explain and let's save and run the application again so I have changed the content of my tag helper simply by uh, adding a public property so if you want any value from the developer that is using your tag helper you can always add the public property and it is available here also Visual Studio will show that inside your coding space we have different alert types and to do the same in our code let's add an enum and call it alert type and it should be public also and let's go for primary and make it zero secondary one and let's go success you get the idea what i'm going to do here let's add a property of type color type and name it type and here let's remove this primary part add with type to a string and to lower because it's case sensitive as I save everything and now when I come here I can use type and I'm expecting this to show me a list but it is not, not doing now but I can always type what I want uh, yes now we get a list a success is what I want and let's save everything and on the project again so this is working we have a success style here in green color and i can go on and add all these classes danger warning info light uh, but you get the idea how this works so we created a tag helper we added some properties and we can set what uh, it should be uh, showing inside the alert that's it for today. Thanks for watching.